Well, with back to school, you have such a long checklist. You need those pens, paper, folders, notebooks, all of the things. But your child's health also comes with a checklist as we head back to school. We've got Megan Rogers here. She heads up the Child Life Services at the University of Michigan Health West. Tips for us to get our child ready to, for school, which often means vaccinations we can make them a little less scary. Tell us how to do this. Absolutely. So our Child Life Services Department in part is helped funded by our University of Michigan Health West Foundation. And so really what that means is throughout the community, they're supporting our Child Life Services team to help make the medical experiences less scary for kids. And that includes vaccines. So what we have is we have some pain management tools and techniques that we're able to offer to our kids who come to some of our neighborhood outreach clinics for their well child visits and for their immunization updates. And this is amazing, this technology, you know, things, uh, that we didn't have when we were kids, you know. Um, tell us how this this little contraption works. Yeah, it is a total game changer when it comes to vaccines for kids. A lot of adults still have needle phobia, and that's actually a big reason why parents are hesitant to vaccine to vaccinate their their children now. They don't want them to experience the same thing that we went through when we had to get our vaccines. So we have a tool called Buzzy, and it was invented by a pediatrician, and she's also a mother. So she saw that kids were having a really hard time coping with needle sticks, and so she invented Buzzy, and it's a tool that vibrates and uses um, cold sensation to kind of help confuse the brain. It competes for the brain's attention away from that needle stick pain to help make pokes not feel so pokey. Because I really feel like the whole thing is the anticipation, you know, and, and parents react to that and we probably make it worse yeah. for our kids because we're freaking out because our kids are getting a shot. Yeah. So this can put them, give them a little more peace of mind going into this. Yeah, right. <laughs> absolutely. So what some of the best things that we actually want to do for our kids is prepare them the day the day before. Let them know what to expect. Having expectation of what's going to happen actually helps more accurately. Um, it helps kids understand more accurately about what's going to be happening to them. It also eliminates a lot of anxiety and fear about what could happen to me. A lot of the times kids' imaginations are a lot more magical than we give them credit for. So oftentimes what they imagine is a lot worse than what's going to happen too. So we should always let them know what they're going to be experiencing. So no surprises. Don't sneak up on them and give them a poke, which I feel like we would be able to relate to a lot too. It's a, kind of that surprise pain. And be able to offer pain management tool and some distraction. So by offering Buzzy and letting your kid be able to have some type of control over their experience is gonna help them cope a lot better and can really help reduce fear of those well child visits and immunizations. Absolutely, and, and really that's what you do. Your department, your program, it's about being honest with these kids and helping them through the process. Tell us about some of the other services you offer for children. Yeah, so one of our main goals as a child life specialist is to really normalize the medical care experience for kids. We don't want these well child visits, sick visits, emergency room visits, surgery, chronic care appointments to have a negative impact on the coping skills and the normal development of kids. We don't want them to experience medical trauma because medicine is something that follows you through your adulthood and we want to really help minimize those fears. We also provide a lot of education and preparation for kids, again, so they know what to expect. We offer a lot of distraction and kind of ways to help their brain cognitively understand what's happening and how to distract and find an alternative focus when they're going through a procedure. Yeah, we also help with grief and bereavement situations. So families who are in our ICU or emergency room, um, or even when children are suffering a loss themselves, a loss of a limb, a loss of control, a loss of a family member. Um, so helping kids and families really navigate through that grief process as well. What a valuable service. And so what parents want to get Buzzy involved in, in their regular vaccination schedule, um, what do they need to know? What do they need to do? Yeah, so we have Buzzy at our neighborhood outreach clinics as well as our emergency room and our surgery center as well. And anytime a kid has to have a procedure done or have um, something that has a poke or pokey pain, they can ask for Buzzy. And what you do is you it looks like this, an adorable little bee. Um, 
And to go along with the name too, it has these ice pack wings that we keep in our freezers, in our offices as well, and in our different departments. And you place Buzzy between the brain and the pain. So if I'm gonna get a vaccine in my arm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna place Buzzy right on my arm, turn it on so it starts vibrating and helps confuse my brain. And then that poke will go right where the stinger will be. And all of our staff is trained to know that as well. Okay, perfect. Mm -hmm. What a great tool. Gosh, I do. can, we, can adults get that too? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> I have been called into, into rooms where adults have such significant needle phobia, whether it's for a lumbar puncture or if they have to get like a shot of an antibiotic in their leg or in their backside or things like that too. And we do actually bring Buzzy out. Good to know that we can all use Buzzy services. Yes. Sounds very good. Yes. Well, thank you so much, Megan, for being here. We really appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks for having me.